Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. It just seems weird, man. It seems like you guys are always trying to put too much sugar in the spoon when there is no spoon. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's continue. Thor News presents. Beta, Gamma, Delta, can I help you? Help you, help you? Mixins and its stellar furnace coming out the oven. Whoa. Yeah, okay. What the hell, man? Who are you? Where'd you come from? So not only do we have 40-day-old Sunspot AR-2192, I'm going to have to look up and see who that is. Who is that? Who are you, giant Sunspot? You look just as big, if not bigger. Well, that can't be good. Are you lined up with Venus? What is going on with the solar maximum? All right. Crap. I'm just keeping tabs on the weird weather. It looks like our double wide, super thick jet stream has blown all that water vapor precipitable precipitation east into what is like an arrow. Here, it's all jagged, but it's like a straight line being pushed in, of course, by the jet stream. Then notice how it creates this perfect little arrowhead. That is flipping nutty. Now, what would cause this super hard wall? I mean, just a solid, straight, no doubt about it, wall. That shape look familiar to anybody? Okay, so flying robot photographer named James Grimaldi took some amazing footage of the record snowfall in Buffalo. I think that's in New Jersey. Maybe it's in New York. I'll have to Google it. But um, it almost looks like film footage. We're about to begin Home Alone. Part seven, where that kid is more like me, home alone, and you got, you know, aerospace assassins showing up. That sounds exciting, and I would love it, because I would get the girl, defeat the bad guys, cause everybody to give up war, and bring about world peace in a good way. So combine this weird thingy with giant sunspot, AR-2192, we should definitely still keep an eye on the weather, but right now, most of the concern and action seems to be with this hammerhead jet stream. Good luck, Europe, Southwest Asia, but I wouldn't quite say the East Coast is out of it yet. Looks like our weird wall stopped moving, so you still got this one coming in, this one coming in and breaking down to form a third one. That is just too weird. The misery index. Oy vey, Canada. You got a little circular swirly, just kind of loitering there. I need to get better on my North North American geography. Now it makes you wonder if our poles are moving funny, then everything's gonna shift, apparently. Then everything would probably shift southish, anywhere from 10 to 30 degrees, I'd imagine. And so, the new weather patterns we detect are probably more accurate than the old models people depend upon. People depend on our use. Still looks like it's got beta, gamma, delta. Can I help you? Help you, help you? Mixins and its stellar furnace coming out the oven. So you can even see the swirly. Still a double wide jet stream from pretty much the middle to east part of America to the East Coast and up through Canada. What is V vector? Aliens. Freaking aliens. Someone bring in that dude. The alien guy. Yeah, we're seeing variations of the arrowhead in almost all the maps. And that's quite fascinating. But definitely with this one Earth facing, having the potential mixing for X and M class flares and coronal mass ejections. And this one turning around definitely be stocked up for the winter. I mean, look at that snow. That could be a week or two in some cases before you can even get out of there, you know? So, get to know your neighbors. Space weather, what, what is that? Old sunspot, AR2192, has been quiet for the past two days but it still possesses a threat for strong flares. 
The sunspot's beta gamma delta magnetic field is unstable and harbors energy for X-class eruptions. If such flare do occur today, NOAA estimates one in four chance. It will be geo-effective because the sunspot is almost directly facing Earth. Wow, Earth looks misshapen. Geomagnetic unrest. Around the Arctic Circle this week, solar wind buffeting Earth's magnetic field has sparked bright northern auroras. Lights, I just like to say aurora. On Sunday morning in Iceland, Vincent Brady took a panoramic photographic of the display -ish and wrapped it around his observing site to create a planet aura and weird looking dinosaur poop baby effect with waterfalls. That's gross. I'm going to move on. All right. In flat radiation. That looks great. Holy shit. Somebody count that. That looks like more than 87. 87 fireballs. Stupid asteroids. Not even to mention any remains are. Yeah, you got another big sunspot rolling around as well. That's what I was looking for. You guys help me none. Yes, it is causing a bunch of beautiful aurora. Alright. Stay on target. What am I looking for? Yeah, so I don't know what sunspot that one's going to be, but 